Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Hallelujah. If you go ahead and see my title, um, this is a pow pow one because God is really serious about this. Everybody, hello. God bless you. I pray that you are having a blessed evening wherever you are in the world. But this is a very serious one. I really want all of them are serious, but I really want you to tag and share. And I really want you to listen to this one. And I want you to go back and listen to it after this. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The first thing I want to read is something very short. Equally yoked is a biblical phrase referred to. And it's oftentimes used to justify a decision made about a relationship or a marriage. In 2 Corinthians 6, 14, the King James Version, it says, Be ye not unequally yoked with unbelievers. Oh my God, we can go on with this subject for years, months, because here's the deal. I know time, time sometimes can fool people, especially women, especially the older you get. You know what I'm saying? So, And this is for men and women, even young men and young women. I cannot stress enough how it's so important to be with the right person. We're not talk just talking about physically, but spiritually, emotionally, but definitely spiritually. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I'm going to tell you something. I don't care how fine they are. I don't care how much money they are. They have. I don't care if y'all families get along, because I know how people do it, especially in the church. You know, sometimes they will put people together at three o'clock in the morning. Or when you are growing in the Lord and that person cannot gird you, you won't be in trouble. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking some real stuff here because most people are moving off flesh. He fine. She fine. Everybody fine. Let's get together. You are not consulting God. This can't be a lust thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This can't be. I like you. I No, no, no. You have to consider the call, said the Lord. Is this somebody that can gird you in the spirit? Is this somebody that can pray with you when you're going through? Is this somebody that if you get in an accident, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, not going to leave you and say, okay, I don't want this. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Why do y'all think that 80%, actually it's 95% these days of the church is getting divorced? And God never meant that. But come on, I'm about to say something. Every marriage is not ordained of God. If you go back, I challenge every last one of you. Did you really meet? on the ethics of God, meaning that you prayed for a husband, you prayed for a wife, y'all both got confirmation because anything out of order was not from God. I don't care what you say. I, I don't care if it was sex. I don't care if somebody put y'all together because most couples, most marriages, they started doing the thing. You all know they start having sex. You know, this is the way it's supposed to be done. Okay. When you meet someone, especially when you're in the church, if you have a covering or if you have somebody, a spiritual mentor, somebody that you trust, you know, I would really like you to meet that person um, because I want, I want to have a take because here's the deal. People can fake. People can fake and they're good. The devil is good. He, he transforms himself into the angel of light. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, and let me tell you something. They know the scriptures backwards and forwards. Boy, they know that, know that Bible. As a matter of fact, they could preach and teach. So, uh, 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 oh, I'm about to say it. I'm about to say it. Women, they could preach and teach you out your underwear. Oh, yeah, I'm saying it. I'm raw and uncut. I can't help it. Hallelujah. And you know it's the truth. And vice versa, men. Big booty, true to head. You, you, you wake up the next morning, Lord, I, I, I repent. You know I love you, Lord. But, but, yeah, the but that got you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is not a laughing matter. I'm really serious. I'm just trying to talk some of you lingo because, believe it or not, even if you're in the church, some of you are so full of lust that that's all you go after. If she's fine, she got a good job, You everybody has a checklist. Y'all might not know it, right? It may not be a physical checklist, but it's a mental one. This is what I want in a man. This is what I want in a woman. I encourage you right now to throw away that list and to ask God, God, will you choose for me? Because truth be told, you don't. we don't know how to choose. That's why I stopped long time ago after that last bad marriage. I don't care what nobody said. I even had a prophetess lie to me. And I love her, but Diana, I see y'all being in. And I believe it at the time because I really respect this prophetess. And she really is one. But she lied that time because I, I, that boy tried to kill me. But it wasn't just about that. When I saw it, I cried. I said, God. And I had to be honest with God. I said, God, you didn't do this. I did this. Because honestly, I heard God say no, but I want to do what I want to do, and I got what I got. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And if that's been since 2012. I have not technically dated. Notice what I say, technically dated, because even when I call myself trying to be with somebody in Mississippi, you know, when I got on here, oh, I'm going to get married. Every date was chaperone. Yeah, I'm 50, but it was chaperone. I, what, I was, what, 48 at the time or 49. It was chaperone. 
I was not along with this guy. You think it's a game? Let me tell you something. You have to um, put yourself in a stance of accountability and responsibility. I know you think you're grown, but sometimes people, other people can see what you can't. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because especially if you in love, because you know, Y'all act like y'all don't know. Especially if they look good and they, you feeling them because the devil know what you like. You, your head is in the clouds. you like, <laughs> I mean, you, you you can't really see. You can say what you want to say. Truth be told, your judgment is kind of tainted and off, especially if you didn't gave them some. Oh, I'm talking for grown folks here tonight. If you don't like me, just log off. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm just being real. Now, nah, come on, sir. Some of y'all doing it, do not. Just ain't got caught. Hallelujah. Don't play with me. That's why it's best not to do that. Not to interact sexual intercourse right now. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because guess what? Now you can see who you're working with, what you're working with, and what their spirit is. Because you see, let me tell you something, and I'm just going to be real. I can like somebody or even love somebody, but if you can't gird me spiritually, I really don't want, I, because you ain't going to be able to handle it. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. What I'm working with, the, the heavy anointing I got in my life, <laughs> let me make y'all laugh about something. I'm not an ugly woman. I'm very attractive. I love me. Come on. I'm not boasting. I love me. But let me tell you what has happened in the past when I start getting interested in a the guy. They say, you on Facebook? And I start, I'm like, oh my God, don't ask me for my Facebook. Don't ask me for my Facebook. They ask me for my Facebook. <laughs> Y'all, I'm talking about a day later. They didn't defriend me and everything because I already know. They love Deanna Dixon, but they can't handle a pasta Deanna Dixon. Y'all better understand what I just said. And yeah, I be hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, God, what happened here? You know, and I already know they didn't wait, they didn't listen to me. I'm like, oh, she too deep with it. I can't. And that's good. At first, I used to say, God, what's wrong with me? No, you can't handle who I am. Thank you. God bless you. You need to go. Because guess what? I'm in a real situation. I live this for real. I pray this for real. I do this for real. I need somebody that's going to be side to side, back to back, front to front. When I'm down, when I'm up, when I ain't got nothing, when I got some, I need somebody real. So thank you for leaving. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Y'all sitting up there crying over people. Y'all better be saying thank you. Hallelujah. Because they couldn't handle your anointing. Not that they were bad people. That's not what I'm saying. Not that they, you know, you got to cuss them out and be all ugly. That's not what I'm saying. Not that you have to talk about them, put them on Facebook. That I don't agree with that. Just let them people go. God bless you. Hallelujah. And prepare yourself for the person that God has for you. But let me tell you, a lot of people missing it. Y'all going after fineness. Um, status quo. Y'all know it's the truth. How much check, uh, well, checkbook both ways. And y'all unhappy. Oh, I could tell you some stories I know. I mean, I have I have millionaire friends. I'm not kidding. Y'all just think y'all just don't know. They so unhappy. I mean I don't even know what else to say. Cause I don't put their business out there, but they so unhappy. They thought. They thought. You can't think. Let me tell you something. You gotta think about the long haul. If we are not spiritually together on as one how long that's gonna last because let me tell you something the bible says can two walk together amos 3 3 can two walk together unless they agree sooner or later y'all gonna start bumping heads and i'm telling you right now that's exactly what happened actually with my last marriage let me tell you what happened y'all and y'all already know because i live this for real i um got on the side of the bed one night and I knew he couldn't handle it, but I was trying to, y'all be trying to make people handle stuff too. I was trying to make him handle, he couldn't handle my own. I got on the bed one night and I was just back, rocking back and forth. And I was like, the horseman rise, the horseman rise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because y'all should have thought, he, he was looking like that. He said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say. I just looked, I said, Lord have mercy, what have I gotten myself into? Cause he looked at me like, what's wrong with this woman? You know? And I understood. I, I, I you know, I couldn't get mad cause I understood that I had uh, accepted something into my life and he wasn't a bad person. He just couldn't handle who I was spiritually. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And some of y'all are in some relationships. Some of you are in some marriages. Some of you are just starting out and y'all looking at, okay, he fine. People like him, this and that. You got to ask God to show your spirit show show me their spirit and not only that god is this confirmation is this who i'm supposed to be with because god i don't want to hurt nobody i don't want nobody to hurt me god i don't want our children to be hurt in the end y'all don't hear what i just said because this ain't just about you and him 
It's about a whole family. Because because when you get married, families get involved. Children get involved. In-laws get involved. Friends get involved. This ain't about just you. Hallelujah to his name. But most people want to please people. I'm on here because I've seen so much stuff. And, and I'm seeing it more and more. I, husband killing wives and vice versa. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. A lot of that would be stopped if you checked that at the door and stop sleeping with people when you first meet them. Just stop that. No, get to know people. Be friends first. And look, I ain't telling you nothing that, that I didn't have to learn to not do. Oh, come on, somebody. How do you, I do the same thing. Yes, I did. Until I understood. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not working. And I'm going here tonight. I'm going to be so transparent because some of you need this. I remember I told you, I already admitted the first half of my ministry, I wasn't right. I was doing what some of the people doing or some of what y'all doing. Hide, creep in line. And they would always check me, by the way. The more people would be like, mm hmm I'd be like, how do you know? I wait till the next time. I did it at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell y'all something. I was dating this guy in Sacramento. Why are youth minister? And I was thought being sneaky. You know, I was doing it 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Yes, I was having sex. And I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going here tonight because somebody need to hear all this. i tell you, I wouldn't have did so much if I didn't know I had to tell it. And so, <laughs> after we'd had sex, I start crying by the bed. Oh, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. God. And he had start tripping. He put on his clothes. He said, Dan, I'm going. I'm tired of this. And I said, no, I ain't going to do it no more. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. He said, you do this every time. And then I'm feeling bad because I feel like I done made you do it. And I would do it repeatedly every time. But I would want to have sex with him. Y'all get what I'm saying? Till finally, that last time, he said, Dan, I can't do this no more. He said, either you're going to be a woman of God or you're not. And I hold on. He was a sinner. Y'all want to hear what I just said. He said, because every time you finish doing what you do, then you want to cry to God and say, I'm sorry, and this and that. And I, and actually, he made me realize that's true. So really, I'm being a hypocrite with myself and God. So that's when I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. And of course, we broke up. And let me tell you how real it was. Even after I got my life together, two years later, that guy called me and apologized. So God had to, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm going deep in the spirit. I hope you're not just thinking this surface. This is going deep, honey. Two years later, about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, that boy called me. And I said, what's wrong with you? He said, I just want to apologize to you because he said, God showed me you're a real woman of God. And I shouldn't have treated you that way. Come on, somebody. I'm trying to tell you something. And I said, I've been forgave you. But it was the anointing of God on my life and not on his life because apparently he got saved. That God showed him who I was in the spirit. I'm about to say something. When it's truly, you are truly a woman or a man of God, God will show people who you are. But first of all, you got to walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it. First and foremost, because if you don't have respect for yourself, how you expect them to come on somebody? Because a lot of you hooking and jiving. Let me tell you something. We be knowing people business. We just don't say it. I found out when I moved to California, it's a small world. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. People be knowing what you're doing. The only people that you're really fooling is you and yourself. Yeah, that's the people. Because you be thinking you running game. People be knowing they just don't say nothing. Now, they might talk behind your back, but they be knowing. And all I'm telling you is the Bible says this. It is not good for man to be alone. So, trust me, you're not supposed to be alone. And some of you didn't got hurt because you did choose wrong or something happened. That's another thing. How you expect to receive somebody? You got to forgive people. This is what have turned people gay. And I'm not bashing gay. I love everybody. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. But this is what have turned people because now they've been so hurt. They have unforgiveness in their heart. And now, well, I don't want no man. I don't want no woman. Y'all don't understand. So this infects everybody by picking the wrong person, choosing the wrong person because you didn't wait on God. You didn't go to your mentor. You didn't ask God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you wonder why you're going through. Some of y'all going through it. Some, some of you are married to people that don't even go to church. And then some of you are married to people that go to church, but when y'all in church, y'all be, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, um, oh, highly favored, blessed and highly favored. When you get home, I can't stand you. Y'all talking to each other like y'all crazy. Oh, come on, somebody, I know some things. <laughs> y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Now, I got to stop doing that. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And while you waiting, prepare. And now on that, hey. Hang out with yourself. Take yourself to dinner, men and women, and work on you. Get closer to God because if it's truly meant for you to have somebody, God going to send them. And guess what? You're going to know that you know that you know. Now I'm about to tell y'all something because so many people, y'all gone to these prophets and they're going to everybody. God ain't going to tell nobody else that that's your husband before he tells you. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me say a little that a little slower. 
God ain't going to tell nobody who your husband or wife is first, but you. Now he will send confirmation through a person, but he ain't going to tell, oh yeah, I'm telling you that's your husband and y'all just going to run and marry the person. They tried to do that to me. Oh yes. When I was in California, tried to marry, make me marry a little bit of sharpness. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I just knew, you know, I was like, oh yes, I was in church and they was trying to, I said, oh no, devil lie. Then. Like I tell you, when I did get married, they tried to make me stay with that man. But God said, I said, you know what? That's not what God told me. And oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. And some of you are not going to agree. And that's fine. Every marriage is not ordained of God. They tried to make me stay with that man. After he was beating me, even when I had the cancer and all this stuff, I said, somebody lying. I, I ain't lying. Even my mentor. And I love her. And I, if she see this, I'm you know, just being honest. I said, oh, no, I love y'all, respect y'all, but that's not what God said. God did not tell me to stay in something that's abusive. God did not tell me to have somebody break my spirit. God did not tell, hallelujah, and some of y'all stand with people because of what other people say. Y'all better listen to what God is saying. Hallelujah to his name. First and foremost, God come before people. God come before your pastor. God come before your prophet. God come before your apostle. God first. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better quit listening to them people. And yet they over there, they living a good little life, but you in an abusive situation. Mentally or physically or emotionally, the devil is lying. God did not call you to that. Hallelujah to his name. Don't play with me this, tonight. So that's all God told me to say. I'm just keeping it 100. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, we give you. Praise God, praise God. And I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I saw something just now. Somebody wrote something. Y'all funny. I'm not even going to address you. Because I, I I understand that most of you want to receive. And some of you get on here to try to say something stupid. Try to get me. I ain't even going for it tonight. God bless you. That's what I'm going to say. God bless you. All right, so I love you all through Christ. I pray y'all go back and listen to this, man. Go back and listen. I had to learn the hard way because, honestly, straight up, if you are truly a child of God, you don't want to be alone. And even in your alone, you have to ask God, God, keep me. And I'm going to tell you something. Thank you, Lord. That's very powerful. What I ask God, I say, God, show me how to be alone. Show me how to love me. Show me how to work on me. I didn't say take the spirit of not wanting a husband, but but sh sh take that lust out. Take that diss out and that whatever is not of you, take it out. And teach me how to wait. Teach me how to pray. Teach me how to be a woman of God. Teach me, Lord. And the vice versa for a man too. You got to ask God to teach you because we don't know. We don't know. Come on, somebody. Everything is a process. Everything is a process. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get on here and tell you what God said. God bless you. God keep you. Go back and listen to this because this is some good word. Hallelujah to his name. So roll like soldiers. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. For that is who you are. A soldier of Jesus Christ. Roll out. God bless. <laughs>